Mark Ray Mundy from MMAfighting.com in Las Vegas with Kamara Usman ahead of the UFC 235 press conference. Kamara, you're, you're challenging for the UFC welterweight title on March 2nd at UC 235 here in Las Vegas at T-Mobile Arena against Tyron Woodley. There's been some kind of starts and stops with this fight. It was on, it wasn't on, it wasn't on. Colby's getting the shot, he's not getting the shot, you're getting the shot. From your perspective, how, how did this finally come together for you against Woodley? Um, if you guys realize, if you guys notice, I've, I've said this. I, I put out a battle yeah. agreement a long time ago. I've said this fight. It was real. Was, yeah, this was real. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't joking. I said this fight was going to happen. You know, it, it was kind of one of those situations where this fight, their fight should have been happening. You know, Kobe should have been fought. He should have already fought Tyron Woodley a while ago, took his ass whooping there. But, you know, unfortunately, these guys kept playing games. No, I'm, I'm not ready. I'm ready. I'm not ready. So, you know, with all those games, it, this time is not going to wait for you guys. Everything keeps rolling. This is a well-oiled machine. It keeps on going. And so these guys kept playing games, and I'm right there like, hey, I'm ready. And so the company said, you know what? Yeah, we're going to go with the guy that is ready. And not just that. I mean, um, it's a, it's a it's time for you to, to see the new champion. It's time for you to, you know, it's not just, I don't just come, you know, like everyone, everyone else. I come not with just with a country. I come with a continent. And it's time for us to expose this sport to that continent. And when we do, I mean, you only have five, maybe five Africans right now in the UFC. Imagine when we expose that continent to this sport. I mean, this sport is just going to blow up so, so, so big and so amazingly that to where I, I believe the company is like, you know what, it's time for us to, to take a chance and, and open this up. So, which is why I'm here today. Colby had some some pointed words for the UFC and has had it for the last I guess few weeks. I, I think everyone knows personally how you feel about Colby, but in some ways, does he have a little bit of a point? Do you kind of feel for him in some ways? I mean, you should know how this goes by now. I mean, is that the first time someone's been promised something and it didn't come through? No, it's not the first time. You can't sit there and, and sit on your hands and say, you know what, I can get this whenever I want. So you know what, I'm just gonna sit and eat cake right now and then. Uh, Hopefully I'll get it whenever I'm ready to go. No, it doesn't work like that. And that's part of one thing that I've always been on my career. I'm always ready for that opportunity. I don't want to be the guy sitting at home and then the opportunity presents itself and I'm like, oh shit, I'm not ready for that. No, I've always been ready. He wasn't ready. Now the company's asked, saying, hey, there's an opportunity. I'm ready to go, so we're making it happen. Tyron Woodley has been a very good champion in the UFC, and uh, he's a great wrestler, obviously has big knockout power. How do you feel like you match up with someone like Tyron? I match up very well with Tyron Woodley. I mean, he, he's, he's good. He's, he's a very well-rounded fighter, but I'm a well-rounded fighter as well. You know, where he's good, I, I feel like I'm better. I'm just a, the new hybrid form, a hybrid version of him. He, he stated somewhere, he quoted that I was a version of him five years ago. I, I, that's not true. And he knows that. He knows for a fact that I'm a hybrid version of him. This is why we tried to avoid this fight as long as possible. He would rather have moved up and not taking this fight as opposed to taking this fight before moving up. Do you have plans? I know you feel like you're going to win the title on March 2nd. Do you have plans? Do you want, do you want to bring the UFC to Africa? Where would it be? What, what kind of plans would you have for the welterweight title? Absolutely. The, the, just winning this title is just the beginning. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a chance to expose a continent. I mean, uh, you, people don't really realize the size and the magnitude of Africa. I mean, we have everything in Africa. And people, people kind of condemn it and say, oh, it's a third world country and this and that, a third world continent. You know, there, yeah, there's a lot of poverty over there, but a lot of the resources that we use all over the world is from Africa. Now imagine when we, we go back there and now we start to kind of dig in to that, that, that continent. I mean, big plans for that country and uh, that continent. And I believe the UFC sees that as well. Because we've got, look at the Africans that are in the UFC. We have maybe five right now in the UFC. And look how well they're doing. You know, so it, it's just a matter of time. But it starts March 2nd, once I'm the new welterweight champion of the world. Last thing tomorrow, uh, Ben Askren and, and, and you have been kind of going a little bit back and forth on Twitter and he keeps calling you Marty from Nebraska. And I know that's the name that I guess your coach, I believe, in high school or college bestowed on you because it was easier to say than yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. Why does he why does he keep tweeting about this? He's, no, he's kind of he's kind of made that like his thing. He just calls you Marty from Nebraska. Yeah. Hey, we, we live in a, we live in an age of trolls. That's what people like. They these are trolls. They they like it because it's it gives them that 10 second, that five second of fame. 
because it's like once you comment back and fans are reacting, that's all they want. That's what fulfills their day, fulfills their life. You know, congrats, man. You know, you've made it to the big leagues now. You know, that like congratulations. Now you get to hang out with or be around your favorite fighters you've watched for years and years. You know, so hey, you know, it means nothing to me. I mean, it's a name. What what's so wrong about that name? You can say whatever you want to do, but that was a name that, you know, my coach called me early on. It means nothing. Does he think he's offending me by calling me that? It's not offending me. You know, what is offensive is if you're maliciously trying to do something, when I see you in person, please keep that same energy. That's that's it. But you know, I don't let that guy bother me. I'm fighting for the welterweight. I'm about to be a welterweight champion of the world. What I got to worry about? I got nothing to worry about. Thanks, Kamara. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it, man.